From our 17 follow-up file tonight, in the widely mourned death of Bakersfield filmmaker and concert promoter Nathaniel Berg two months ago, we at last have an official cause of death from the coroner, coroner's office. 17's Robert Price reports. Nathaniel Nate Berg, just days after the triumphant debut of his latest music documentary, was found down on the sidewalk at 19th and M Street at about 2 a.m. on January 19th. He was declared deceased then and there, just 52 years old. Berg had been ill with an undiagnosed respiratory illness, and some speculated he had COVID-19. But on Monday afternoon, the Kern County Coroner's Office made official what some of those close to him had feared. Berg died of acute hydrocodone and all toxicity, an accidental overdose. His good friend John Coley released a statement on Berg's cause of death an hour after the coroner's announcement. Nate had been battling substance abuse for years. After his last stint in rehab, we all hoped he'd kicked it for good. Unfortunately, he did not. Everyone should take notice that fentanyl is a deadly drug and anyone from the greatest artist to your next door neighbor is not safe from it. Berg, a former punk rock concert promoter and country music documentary filmmaker, was a native of Ontario, Canada. He leaves behind a son. More than 900 Kern County residents have died from fentanyl-related overdoses in the last four years. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.